Hey Pisces, how y'all doing? Oof, honey, I just woke up from my, uh, I never take naps, ever. And today, I had to take a nap. <coughs> um, uh, it, it was crazy, but I had to take a nap. <coughs> Cause, you know, I'm a, I'm a hermit anyway, you know what I mean? So, um, no matter how late or whatever I do, I still got to get up and, and do what I got to do with, you know, with the universe. If that ain't no, it, I don't care. I don't care if I don't, if I get up half sleep, I better get my ass and do what I'm supposed to do with the universe. And so I went through all of that and I was so tired and I don't know, I, I, I had to take me, I had to lay my ass down. I don't never do that, but I did it and I feel so energized, okay? Thank you, Lord Jesus, for that nap. Um, I uh, told y'all that I was going to start my bracelet yesterday, and I wanted to show y'all, but I have to redo it because it didn't come out the way I wanted to. So, this is, okay, now y'all see that it looks good to y'all, right? But it didn't come out quite the way it's supposed to come out. And so, this is, um, well, let me show y'all. This is, right, can y'all see? All right, this is, um, look, this is mine's and this is, um, what I got. See that? So my middle stones are bigger because these are um two and these are three. All right. So um this is where I'm at, but I like I gotta redo it over because I don't still know. I'm learning how to tie it. Um, do the special knot, but this is what I'm making for Pisces. This is not my jewelry line that I'm going to come out with. This is what I'm making because I thought that these are better than anything. They won't um, tarnish on you. They won't get all crazy. And they look nice, clean, and dainty. And I was going to make some all um, pink with the um, chakras and then pink on this. Or all um, to represent the crown. Or all purple here. The chakras in the middle and then purple on here but i like black um because it goes it's it you can wear with anything and it's not like highlighted with a uh, a bright color so that's why i went with black but if anybody wants um um some made like in a certain chakra like crown chakras in that particular one color and then the chakra stones in the middle i'll do it for you all right Look all my grades. So I got to get that done too. But anyway, yeah, I was showing y'all that, yes, this is what I did. I finally got my hand on it and I did it. And, um, you know, I got bad eyesight, so I had to use my, um, you know, my double, double things to see because I'm, I'm blind as you want to be. So with my line of jewelry that I'm making is... You know, I had to come out with the with this one first because that is what I do. I, I am, uh, you know, a spiritual person, uh, and I'm, I'm deep into my chakras. So I went to do this, and without me doing this, I couldn't open the doors to do what I want to do, my line of jewelry. Because first is what I do, and this is what I do. You know, I'm, I'm blessed to be able to do this. And then turn what I want into my own business. So I'm actually doing, expanding myself to another level, which is a personal thing to me, which is my new business, my line of jewelry, my own line. It don't have anything to do with a chakra, but it's my line of jewelry, my daintiness. And people ask me about these earrings. These earrings I got here, I had these since I was 23 years old. I have these in all shapes, like with my name on them. Okay, I got my name tattooed on my arm. I've always been, I always liked that, that look. And that's just the way it was. I, I had 
that's just me and these are real they they are real they weigh and they real earrings this is what i used to do back in my time okay um you know it was time to throw on diamonds and then it was time to just throw on these and i got little smaller ones than these that i'm going to be you know wearing all the time because these are still kind of big for me back then they were nice but they big right now for me so either i wear these or my you know the other ones i have they got you know, the little diamonds all the way around it, but I have my jewelry as long as I can remember, all right? Yes, my jewelry, my own jewelry. Um, but my chakras is everything, and I, these are things that I wear for life, and I would never take them off, okay? Um, so, Pisces, today is the last day to sign up for the class. Um, if you want to sign up for it, you're going to pay for it just like you're paying for a reading and then you're going to tell me it's for the class okay um once everybody um uh, once i close it up which is today then i'm going to take all of that and then i'm going to give you a date that we're going to start the class all right so it is a week after next week it's going to be a date that i'm going to pick to start the classes in the hours that i can feel like it's going to be good for everyone okay um so, thank you all, each and every one of y'all, um, for like, sharing, and subscribing, and sharing my videos with other people. Thank you a million. Um, and I want to say this to the cross watchers too. I thank you for just coming in and watching me. And you, you know, thank you. If you're growing with me, I'm happy. Thank you. Um, thank you for all those who um get private readings and donate to my channel thank you a million thank you for all those who go on my web <coughs> and purchase um oils and um candles and jewelry <coughs> and all this stuff thank you um thank you for all those who wear masks <coughs> excuse me i'm not sick i just still got this leftover cough but not crazy either. I don't know why every time I get here, I got to do the coffee shit. All right. Um, I also want to say, um, just remember in life is choices you make. And um, that's important for me to say because we're coming into just the world itself where everything is going around us, the president and pressing people to get shots and, you know, um, telling you all of this stuff for us to believe and everybody has their own way of doing things and for people that are struggling um about the shot you know I, my heart is with you and i feel like if you believe what you believe in you got to stand for what you believe in and it's crazy how everything is going to um if you don't do this then you don't have a job and if you don't do this it's like if you don't do this we don't eat if you don't even with the crisis of the food and all of that going, um, gas and all that, I just really truly feel in my heart that the government, and I'm not saying it trying to be smart, but I, I feel like all of this is tied up with how the government wants us to repay. So they give you money and they raised everything up. So either way, they got us paying for whatever we getting. Like, oh, I'm going to give you a raise in this, but look, they're not even trying to get the food or things for us to move on with, right? So they're making us pray for everything sky high. It's economy is fucked up, but they want you to pay for shit sky high. It's all got to do with government. And this is all government and politics behind the curtains that we don't even know about. But all of this shit is going right in front of our faces, okay? So believe it or not, it's time for people to stand up for their beliefs and their rights. Because if you don't stand up for your beliefs and your rights, you're going to be like a chip, and they're going to put a chip in us, and we're going to be moving around the way they want us to move around, okay? And I'm telling you, it's getting ready to happen, all right? Everything is getting ready to happen. You're not going to be able to have money in your, a uh, 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 dollar bill in your, uh, some people don't even believe in putting their money in the bank. You know, some people um keep their money in the house or whatever, right? So if the government start making where you got to put all your money in like a credit card, what people are going to do, they got money sitting in their house, they're going to be fucked. Because it ain't no longer you could go to the store with dollars and coins 
everything's going to be in a credit card because they want to navigate every fucking thing in your life. They want to know everything about you. That's why they got cameras. You think you got cameras outside for your good? No, the government is watching everything going through your cameras and anything that you got in your house. They got anything to do. They can talk back to you and all that shit, your phones and all. The government is tracking all your business. And you better believe this shit. It's time for people to stand up for what they believe in because we are in a war, a human warfare. Do y'all understand what that means? It means that everything is trying to control. This ain't the land of the free no more. We are being controlled by the government and politicians, sweetie. We don't just, the reason why we don't see shit for what it is because everything is behind the curtains, okay, that they don't want us to know. But everything they do, it's that food and all that shit that's sitting in that water, that's bullshit. That's the government, and we're paying for it. Some people ain't got no money putting their gas, and that shit is almost $4. You can't even buy a chicken, a, a, a pack of um bacon is $9. It went from $4 to $9. You're not going to be able to even live and eat. And that's why it's important, okay? To remember that we must take care, all right, of the air or what you throw in the water. Appreciate the, the things that are for free. People go in the store and buy water. It's going to be a time where you ain't going to be able to buy water, but you're going to be drinking that spigot water. Shit is getting real out here. You better wake up and see it, all right, that they are going to control everything about us, everything. Y'all forget that we went through a crisis where you were seeing the bodies in bags. 18 will. Y'all forget all that shit. I don't forget shit. I take things in a very serious way. It's time for people to wake the fuck up and know your rights and know where to stand at. Because we are going to be controlled by the government. This ain't the land of the free no more. You're fighting for your freedom. You're fighting... You're supposed to be able to make decisions for yourself. Everything here is numbers. And you know what number is? Money. That's all these people fucking live by their money. And that's what they got us doing. All right? They ain't giving you shit. They ain't giving you no raise. They taking that money back. Quick as they give it to you, it's going back. Do you understand the shit is getting real? And y'all need to understand that shit. And there's people that die. To die, even doing marches while this time was going down for us, for our rights, all right? They died for us. Many people, even the people that went to the marches and then they got the virus and died, they died fighting for us, for voicing their opinions, all right? And this is getting serious, and you better wake the fuck up and know your rights. Do you understand? And understand that all that money... People don't put in a bank. That ain't going to mean shit because they're going to go. And I'm telling y'all now, and it's going to happen. Remember I said this. Everything is going to go through a credit card. That means you ain't the president. The, the, they're going to know everything you do with your money. You ain't going to be able to hide shit. Nothing from them. Do y'all understand? This shit is getting real. All right? And I'm telling you some real shit. Right? Everything is numbers in this world. Everything is money. It's all about money. And they would do anything to you to control you. So wake up, America. The land of the free is not the land of the free no fucking more. You better get it right. And it starts with you. Do you understand? I'm speaking some real shit. And I keep it real 100 fucking percent. Okay? Understand, you got to understand, you better start learning. You better start, you know, looking at things, common sense, all right? It's shit, you know, shit's going right in your face and they telling you, but you're still not listening, all right? Because they, they threaten you. They're threatening us, okay? If we don't do this, we don't get this. And it's a controlling thing now with this. United States, it's their controlling. This ain't the land of the free anymore. It's almost like we go, and I'm serious about what I'm telling y'all this, and it ain't a black and white thing. It's a uh, the whole 
universal things with Americans. All right? I don't give a fuck who you are. Okay? Y'all can talk about slavery days. This ain't got shit to do with slavery days. All right? This got to do with the president. Okay? That White House controlling. They sit in there and fight each other. That's bullshit. We see in the fight. But for real, for real, we are all being fucking controlled. Okay? They take our rights. They, they take what you believe within yourself. You can't even tell them that you don't want something because they're going to make you get it. And if you don't get it, this is the consequences. <coughs> Do you understand? You can't go in the store and buy food to feed your family because everything is sitting in the water. Why? Because that's the way the president wants shit. But he wants us to think different. And you know what? That's where we at. Thinking that, oh, ain't not moving because of this and that. Bullshit. That's bullshit. Do y'all understand this? Y'all better get it right. All right, let's get started with this reading. I pray, I just pray and pray. And I'm so glad I'm in a different place in my life. All right? A different place. And I got a voice. I'm glad I got my YouTube, a platform to stand, all right, to teach y'all, wake the fuck up, this ain't the land of the free any fucking more, do you understand, the shit is being, it's called, it's not the land of the free, it's called the land of controlling the land, that's what it is, it's coming back in a, in a, in a way that was slavery, but everybody, now it is, it ain't no certain type of people, everybody is in that politics shit, all right, you better understand, it's a gamble that people are playing with our lives, okay, and if you don't wake up, baby, we gonna be in torn fucking war, all right, they're gonna have us lined up, okay, like we are bionical humans, and that's what we're going to turn into. All right? Numbers. You're going to be turning into a number. You already a number because you was born with a fucking social security. That's the first thing they gave you. All right? Everything got a number. The first thing you got was the social security. Your birth security. Everything is numbers with these motherfuckers. It's all about money. Do you understand? You better learn it. All right? Let's get going. And I'm sorry, but I had to say that. Because I'm, I'm just fed up with the shit. Shit is getting crazy. All right? And no, I would never get another motherfucking shot. Ever. I don't give a fuck what the next one is, the next one, or the next one. I'm not fucking doing it. No, I'm not. All right? And that's the worst thing I ever did. All right, Pisces, let's get going. You should have the right to say what you want to say. You can't even have the right to get a damn abortion. Fucking shit is going fucking nuts. Uh-uh, no. All right, here we go. Um, Death, it shows a skeleton with a butterfly. Death, the... Eternal cycle being here. The eternal cycle begins here. The eternal cycle begins here. So this is like um, Scorpio on a deck of cards, if I can relate to it. Okay? The rebirth. Okay? And that's what it is. It's like something about you. That is a rebirth. Okay? And this also can mean, like, if I look at it, it can also mean, like, the um, the Empress. It's a rebirth here. It's the way that you see things. It's the way that you are. And it's decision making. And that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. It's a decision making here that you are awakening to. And it's not just one thing, it's everything. You see things clear. It's a major decision here. 
that we are making that is going to transform us for the rest of our life. Okay? And it's big. Right? Do you understand? It's big. Okay, the next card you got, it says rest in peace. Now listen, you got the um, death card, right? Now you got the graveyard card, rest in peace. It says unnecessarily fears. Unnecessarily fears. And I said this to y'all many a times before. Um, whenever I talk about cremation, whenever I talk about death, you know, that's something nobody thinks about, right? That's like when you go to doctors and they say, well, come back to the office because we got something to tell you. Or you, we need to run some more tests on it. The first thing you do, you start, your heart start pounding. You can't stop thinking about it, right? Because the news, the news, and then what's next, right? So that is the way life is. It's all these news and what's next and the fear and, what, and what's going to happen and why this is going to work out and what. You know, it's just fear. Fear, right, put into you. And like it said, rest in peace is unnecessarily fear. Because no matter what, right, you are your boss. Okay? You got the rebirth and you got the death car. Unnecessarily fears, right? Don't be afraid to make a decision. A decision here needs to be made. And I think this decision, whatever decision that you've been trying to make, it's been in the making for a long time. And it's time for you to really, 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 really get down to making a huge decision in your life. And I'm looking at these cards and I know the decision I need to make. And I've been fighting that for years. But I know to this major for me to make it. And once I make that decision, everything will flow. And it's like me, all my puzzles are put together and I got one piece left. And it's in my hand, right? But I got to decide, because it's in my hand on me shit, is when I put it to the rest of the puzzle and complete the puzzle. That's when it becomes alive. Do you understand? This is serious. Check this out. And I don't even know what is going on with me right now. But I'm spitting fire. To you. To me. To us. We're one. Cross watchers, listen to me. Listen to me well, baby. Alright? A black cat. Books. Fortune met opportunity. Fortune meets the opportunity. And I said that. Once that puzzle in your hand, that you got in your hand, and you will complete the puzzle. But until you put that puzzle into that missing piece right there that's waiting for you to complete the puzzle, then you meet the fortune and the opportunities. But it's something here that needs to be completed. For everything to you to come out. And I'm going to say it again. Check it out. The first card you got was the death card. And it said. Eternal cycle begins here. Once you decide to make a transformation. Right? Then you got rest in peace. Now. This is the death card. So rest in peace means. You ready to let it cease, right? Bury it. Let it go, right? And then it says, unnecessarily fear. And that's the biggest fear, right? It's the what if. But you don't know what if until you complete the puzzle, right? Then you got the black cat, which everybody says, oh my, it's bad luck. But Pisces, it's all good. Right? I keep, then I keep telling y'all, I keep seeing these eyes. Um, I see like an owl, like a bird or something staring at me. When I close my eye, I would see it. Right? Staring at me. And now, look at this shit. 
Look at this shit. The cat. Right there staring. Right at me. Right? So what it says, black cat, fortune meets opportunity. And when you, and I'm going to say it again, when you let go of that puzzle that you got in your hand and you put that puzzle to meet the rest of the puzzle that's sitting in front of you, you have completed your journey. But you got one more thing to put together. And when you put that one more thing together, you are completed your cycle. Okay? And that's some, that's some deep shit. I'm going to tell y'all something. When I tell you this spirit awakening class that you about to take, like none you ever, ever, ever experienced in your life. Right? It's not about a relationship. It's not about your past. It's about you. Okay? Dusting off yourself. All right? Opening your mind. Accepting it. Knowing how to work every piece in your body. Right? To complete a cycle. Right? And that's what it's about. Do you understand? Because you've always had the tools. But the problem is we live in everything we have collected that never was good in our lives. And we live with that model. Right? And that's what we live in. A model of the past. That's what you live in. Right? And no matter what it is in your life, you got that model. That it doesn't leave because that is your whole history of who you are, which creates who you are today, who you are tomorrow, if it ain't completed right. All right? Let's get going. Um, and let me tell you something. When making decisions, let me get this right. When making decisions in life, yes, you're going to hurt people. Right? Because you're making a decision. And it can be with your kids. It can be in a relationship. It can be family. It can be friends. It can be your job. But yes, you will hurt people. Because you're making this huge decision. This needs to be made. Do you understand? It needs to be made. All right. And as I'm doing this reading, the storm just started coming at us. It was sunny. Now it is, you can hear all the bells. And I'm telling you, this reading, and I know this reading is going to be something else. Because I am on fire. And I feel like God said, take a nap because you got something to say. All right? And that's what I'm feeling right now. This energy is explosive. Tell me more. Look at this. Okay, you got the cups. You, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Wish come true. Your dreams become reality. A magical time of life. Good fortune. Faith in the universe that all will be well. And I said that. It's that death card, that transformation. Right? The death card says, I'm going to say it again. The eternal cycle begins here. And then you got this. Okay? Uh, tell me more about... Oof. You got the ten of cups. So you got the nine of cups. Now you got the ten of cups. And I'm going to say it again. 
what you got there before was the graveyard. Unnecessarily fear, right? Check it out. Then you got the 10 for that. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Um, a happy marriage, happy ever after, emotion, contentment, a loving relationship with family, children, raising your children successfully, people that you can trust. It's you're coming into your tribe, okay? So maybe you're worrying about this or worrying about hurting somebody feeling or doing something that you don't want to do, but you got to do it because it's the best thing for you to do, Okay? And it could be with anybody because I see this happy family. But in that, it's something there that needs for you to, to let the fear go and make a decision. And I'm going to say it again. It's got to do with your household. So what's in your household and whatever it is, it's got to do with that. And it could be a relationship. It could be your children. Sometimes you got to teach your t children tough love. Sometimes you got to... Make a decision where you've been in some place so long that you need to break that because it's not where you want to be. Okay? And it's nothing wrong. Somebody has got to get hurt. Okay? Because you're freeing yourself. You're making a decision to, to let the fear go to say, listen, I don't want to be with you anymore. Okay? I love you, but I'm not in love with you. All right? And it, it'll hurt somebody, but that's a decision that you got to make. It may be with your kids. You know, letting your kids worry you where you say, you know what? Let me break ties and let them let them go. And whatever mistake they make, they're going to learn from it. <coughs> right? But this is a decision that you need to make. All right? And I'm going to say it again. You can have it all, but if you not happy, you must let it go. Rest in peace. And I mean, let it rest in peace. All right. For you to let something go. All right. Someone go to come into your real true self. And that's some real shit. Okay, and and I'm and I'm it, it's something here that needs to be set free, and that puzzle needs to be completed for your life to move on. But it's like you have fear of letting it go because I'm gonna hurt somebody, or this is not gonna work for me, or how am I gonna get this and that. It's a fear here that needs to be completed. And that means stop having fear. You have unnecessarily worries. Everything will be fine. Because no matter what, it will work out. And I'm going to say this. Listen to me. Just remember situations. And not the one you're in. But think about situations, right? That you was in. Right? That you thought you would never get out of that situation. Right? And you got out of it. Correct? You moved on from that situation. It's done and over with. But at that time, you could tell us war stories about that situation. Why? Because you had fear to leave it. But you got the strength to do it. Right? But because you have never completed a cycle in your life. All right? And that's why you keep going through the same thing over and over. Because... It's like you escape prison to be caught again to be in another prison. And that's the, that's exactly way how you need to see it. You escape one and then they caught you again and put you in another one. All right? So when do you set yourself free from this cycle of your past? Get resurface every time. When will you complete your puzzle to become whole and see everything clear 
and not repeat that cycle again. You understand? Tell me more. Tell me more, spirits. Tell me more. Oh, this cat is staring at me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. This cat can... Oh, my God. Jesus. Jesus, in Jesus' name, listen to me. You got the world car. This is making sense. It's giving me chills. It says, the black cat, fortune meets opportunity. Fortune meets opportunity. When you put that piece dismissing in the puzzle without fear, Right? It's something here that needs to be. It's going to make you so fucking happy. Because you're free at last. For the first time in my life. This, making this decision in my life. Will free me. And will put this. Once and for all, together, and I know what it is, my life will be completed, and I will be happy. And it's true, it's that fear. It's crazy. You got the world car, okay? Um... You coming into a huge success, right? You're going to come into this huge success. And I'm telling you, this is to last. To last. It ain't just that moment. It's to last. All right? I promise you this. I don't have no reason to lie to you, sweetheart. This will last, and I'm going to tell you, last to the last days of my life. It will last. I'm going to say it again. Fortune meets opportunity. And here you got the world. A com it's like a completion, right? And what I like about her is she's not bearing in her soul because now she don't have to bury it she knows who she is she got clothes on her body she got wings on her body do you understand she's happy it's it's for life it's the infinity for life this will be this will be for life do you understand this success is there. And I mean, you don't understand. And don't get it fucked up when I say success and be like, oh, my career. No, no, no. Oh, this and I'm talking about success, a completion in your life. All right? It's, it's, it's a completion. Success stands as tall as you are. All right? And that's where it stands. With no fear. With no one judging. It's you. Do you understand? A time for joyful accomplishment. A special enlightenment. Free to do whatever you want and be proud of yourself. And this is where I'm saying it's time for you to make this huge decision that needs to be made to complete this puzzle. Do you understand? You got the world. It's like God is saying... I'm here giving it to you. 
But you need to make a decision, a big decision, all right? Because unfortunate, uh oh, let me, I need to close my window. Unfortunate, uh, it says, I'm sorry, the wind is blowing. Um, 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 unnecessarily fear because it's something that you fear of putting in place. Okay, and I'm gonna say it again. Yes, it hurts. It hurts you to do this, but it's necessary for you to make this decision. And yes, it's not an easy decision. No, it's not. But without you completing this decision that will hurt someone else, it's going to hurt you and someone else. It's going to hurt you because it's, it's a good thing because now you can finish the puzzle. And it may hurt the person. It could be your kids. It could be your, uh, 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 um, it could be a marriage. It could be a separate, it's something here that needs to be completed. And it's a cycle that you've been through and a cycle been that you've been through in your life that plays a part of everything you're coming into and it keeps doing it. But until you complete this cycle for the first time in your life, it's you making a decision to do what you want to do for you. And that's what's huge about it. For the first time, you are making a decision. Right? It, it ain't like the past where I broke up with this and that because you carry that into here. But this is where it stops. Okay? Um, and that's where your future begins. Right? Now, the nine of pentacles, right? Enjoy the fruits of your labor. See, this is all the beautiful things you get after making this decision. All right? Freedom to do whatever you want. You are free. You finally free. And I mean free. And it's going to be a different freedom. Like you never had before. And I'm going to say it again. Don't get it fucked up and twisted. It ain't like before you broke up with this person. Then you went into this relationship. Because what you did here. You bought here. But here's where it stops. Now you must make. A decision. That you've been fear. Scared to make. And it is huge. And that will change your life for eternally. You got that? All right. So, enjoy the fruits of your labor. Hard work that has led you to a luxury life. And this is all what you get when you make that decision. And it's the hardest decision that you're going to have to make. All right? Buying yourself something special, happy and successful, self-employed. Enjoy your solitude. You got to understand that this is big. And I'm going to say it to you in one simple way. This is bigger than money. This is bigger than materialistic things. This is bigger than all of that. This is huge. The materialistic things, the money, okay, the career, that is nothing compared to what you have done. The, the biggest decision you make, it don't have nothing to do with that. Do you understand? And that's what I want you to get out of your fucking head. This ain't got shit to do with your money, your material shit. Your career. This got to do with a major decision that needs to be made in your life that's going to transform everything you ever, 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 ever done. And that's what it means. Do you understand? This is just that fucking simple. 
is serious. And I'm so glad that I am here to let you know of this huge decision that must be made. And this is for each and every person that is watching me today, right now, and right here. It's a major transformation that the universe God is giving you. And it don't have nothing to do with money, career, okay? Or your material world. This got to do with you because after you make this major decision, then you get everything else that God has for you because you deserve it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because you need to watch this. And out of all the videos I ever made in my life, this is the video for you to transformate your life and not fear it. Do it. All right? And you will see that you will open up the biggest doors, the tallest door. And that door is so tall, and I'm not lying. It's like 10 more people on top of me. That's how tall the door is. You look like a midget when you open up that door. Or what God has for you. But you got to understand. That you are missing a piece of the puzzle to complete the puzzle. And the puzzle piece is in your hand. And you may hurt. It may hurt you when you make this decision. And I'm going to say it one more time to you. It ain't got nothing to do with your job, your money. Or your material world. This got to do with a major decision. That needs to be made. And you will hurt someone. And it could be anybody. That's close to you. Right? But it needs to be made. For you to complete. This cycle. Of never going back. To anything you've ever been into. Did you understand? It's important that you get it. This is big. And this was a message from me to you from the divine. Do you understand? It needs to be made. Pisces, if you need a private reading, get it from me or anyone else. But get it. And only you can make it happen. And believe me when I tell you, it will hurt you to do it. But it's the best thing that you will ever do. Do you understand? And I'm going to tell you again, the door that you will open up, the door that you will open up, it's like I'm 5'2". The door will be 10 times 5'2". That's how big the door will be. That's how tall it will be. I will be a midget to that door. But that's how big. When you do what you need to do, that's how big the door will be that God will open up for you. And that's what he's saying. It's a decision that he can't make for you that you got to make for self. Pisces, if you need a private reading, get it from me or someone else. And I love you to pieces. God bless you all. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.